back in 1996 when IBM Aptivas were all the rage and Windows 95 had just been released. My dad owned a computer with both of those things. And he also had a shareware disc. And on that shareware disc was a game that would shape the rest of my life. And that game is... Jazz Jackrabbit. This is the first game that I remember playing, and I played it about a year after I was born. So, you know, it's a good place to start. And, uh, yeah, this is the big box copy, which is something that I've been after for a very long time, and now I've got it. I've had it for a while, actually, but uh, only just got round to talking about it. And it's quite a busy box. Where the hell do we start? Well, we'll start with this, because it doesn't need to be there. What's it say? New! The game hit of 95. Technically it was released 94, but this CD-ROM version was released in 95. And yes, I'm getting to why we got the CD-ROM version later on. It's got a 94% from P... Oh, crikey. Yeah, 94% from PC Answer. If they played the game, <laughs> I would be a bit sceptical of that, but, um, you know, I'll let them off. It's a, it is a very good game. There's Jazz himself, with a very thick outline. Um, but yeah, looking pretty cool, because he was a cool dude. Uh, best arcade game of the year, which, I don't know, I wouldn't really class a platformer as an arcade game, because you wouldn't really play a platformer in the arcades. The only ones I can think of are uh, like Bubble Bobble and stuff like that, but they're mm, not not really a platformer in the same way as this is. Uh, we've, also, oh, we've also got the Comic Stroke Manual and Episodes 1 to 9. That is the reason, well th those are the reason I got this box. Because the CD-ROM version, as you can probably tell by the um, sort of film motif down the sides here, it's got all six original episodes as well as three um, extra episodes. Plus one of the, I think it has one of the Christmas episodes that were free otherwise. Now this was only really available mail order if you wanted the whole lot, so this was actually a pretty good deal because it, it was kind of like getting a game and the expansion pack, and then kind of another expansion pack, really. There were some um, big box releases of this game. One of them, I think, only included episodes 1 to 3, and I'm certain there was another, but I can't think um, what it included. And then, of course, there was this. And later on, they packaged uh, this full game with Jazz Track Rabbit 2 in the UK and the US, I believe. So there were, yeah, there were plenty of ways to get hold of it. Nowadays, not so much, because it's not even available on GOG or Steam or anything like that. This is pretty much your only option. Anyway, I'll just uh, point out as well, Epic Mega Games, but they've covered up the Mega bit with the trademark. This is actually a pretty dodgy <laughs> flipping box design, because they've covered up part of, the, part of that with the stupid star. Whatever. Uh, on the side... You will notice that this thing is the wrong way around. Compare it to Jazz 2, which is the right way around. It <laughs> looks pretty stupid when it's on your shelf. Uh, and you can't even flip it upside down because um, I've got the logo there, so it looks pretty stupid. But, you know, it's just one of those things. I've got another game that's like that. Uh, you know, it doesn't really bother me. Put that to one side. What's on the back? It's very red. There's another picture of Jazz being all cool. What does he say? Hi there. I am on another cruise against evil forces. The nerdy yet powerful tortoise king, Devon... Devon... I never know how to pronounce that. I would say Devon. Devon Shell has kidnapped the beautiful rabbit princess, Eva Earlong. Can you help me out? I, L, L, do you some good. Go with me through nine cool episodes, including the three lost ones. And on an amazing bonus trip. More about it in the comic stroke manual. What does the press say about it? Jazz Jack Rabbit is not only one of the best shareware games to ever grace the PC, it's also the best arcade platform game for the PC ever. Yeah, ever. The PC game, they did a lot of evers, best evers, uh, from what I've seen. What else we got? On a console, a game like this would undoubtedly have a name like Sonic the Hedgehog. Proofreaders. They don't exist. As games go, this one is set to become a classic. Dot 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 dot. 
Jazz is unequivocally recommended to all of you who feel the need for some fun. Well, what about here? The level design in Jazz is excellent. Nah, it's not really. Not not later on. It starts out really good and then uh, just takes a plummet pretty quickly. As far as pla as fast as platformers go, you can't do much better than Jazz Jackrabbit. That doesn't make any sense. And this is destined to become a classic. Sorry, I can't see the uh, viewfinder, so things might be going off uh, frame. Oh, here we go. Sizzle environments! I have been compatible with PC with fast 386 or better 486 CPU. Uh, again, running joke, I think I've got about that. CD ROM drive, running joke, I've got a DVD ROM drive, oh dear. Hard disk, ha hard disk, what? 100 kilobytes necessary, oh boy, I'm pretty sure this game's a lot bigger than that. But, you know, I think actually you can run it off the disk, so, uh, yeah, that, that'll be where the necessary bit comes from. The game, the actual game, somewhere like 16 megabytes, I guess. 4 megabytes free RAM, VJ monitor, and graphic card. Huh? Was this was this a German release or something? DOS 5.0 or higher? Sound card recommended. Jazz supports Gravis Ultrasound, which is uh, something that they liked a lot. Uh, Pro Audio Spectrum. Sound Blaster. Uh, Pro, 16 incompatibles, optionally joystick or gamepad. Oh god, playing this with a joystick would be horrible. Uh, Romware, GmbH, blah, blah 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 blah. And yes, more screenshots. And these are actual screenshots from the full version of the game. Something about the some of the earlier shareware releases, the fact that they used screenshots from the beta version, which is uh, quite incredible. Um, I think those are the only screenshots they had hold of. On the other side, I've just got the same thing again. Nothing on the bottom, and same on the top. Let's open it up, shall we? As this is quite a rare game, I feel the need to uh, show the innards. Not many people have Jazz CD, uh, and then, like I said, it took me a while to get hold of it. I was very lucky, because um, I found it in the vintage computing section of eBay. Be sure to look there if you're looking for big box PC games, because uh, though that's where you'll find the ones where the seller has no idea what they have uh, and they're selling it for a reasonable price. Resellers don't generally tend to go to vintage computing. Right, I think I may have just broken the box there. Oh no, never mind. It's uh, like that. Here we have the game. Game. Jazz Jack Rabbit CD-ROM. Um, I was just going to say this had a different cover for the... in fact, I think I have it in this box. Let's compare. I will look at this Jazz 2 box later. But for now, we will uh, inspect the other copy of Jazz CD that I have. Ugh. This is the one that came with Jazz 2 in the UK and uh, US. A little bit different, um, but Pretty sure it contains the same content. And there is the disc itself. I don't need to show you if it's scratched or not, because obviously it is because I've put it in my computer. In fact, both my computers. Very shiny. And yeah, it's got that sort of Windows 95 um, monochromatic look about it, which I really do like. It's very nostalgic. Oops. <laughs> that could have gone better. Gosh, the resale value's gone through the floor. Uh, and on the back we've just got the system requirements again and how to start it because like I said this will just run off the CD should you want to or you can just copy it onto the uh, hard drive uh, we'll get onto the manual in a second uh, that's the PayPal receipt I'll probably have to blur that out keep hold of that and uh, what have we got here oh we've got a folded registration card oh no uh, um... rom 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 What's this, a uh, bank heist gold? Please keep me, stroke us, informed about further CD-ROM products by Romware. And these are all just the same in different languages. Why did you say Rom Rom Rom? Uh, rom Rom Rom, well I was right, they are German, look, Hamburg. Business reply mail. Uh, and uh, yeah, it just asks you for your address. I'm guessing this is for like a newsletter. I suggest Romware too. Get a proofreader for your boxes, and also re-release Jazz, because, yeah, it needs it. Oh, I suppose that's under, uh, that's for Epic Games to work out, isn't it? Okay, manual time, I'm going to have to uh, 
fiddle about with the camera. I think I just knocked it. Yeah, check this out. Oh, God. Come on. This is fantastic because it's got all these... Oh, it's got a bit yellow there. Look at that. Beautiful. Yeah, it's got these nice uh, illustrations by the one and only Nick Stadler. Stad Stadler. There, yeah, so his name is in two places. Uh, who I believe did the artwork for Jazz 2 as well. Um, I seem to recall reading that he was involved with a recent game, Dust in Elysian Tale, but uh, not found much evidence of that since. And yeah, look, it's a full comic strip that's uh, kind of dodgily written, but uh, it's really cool. It's um, quite a nice thing to have at the start of the manual, and uh, helps set the scene a little bit. Look, there's even a, a Sonic reference. Subtle. Yes. Yes. Hello. Um, otherwise, yeah, it's a nice full colour manual with beautiful screenshots and... Uh, oh, wow, I didn't know this was here. Yeah, it tells you uh, what all the enemies are. Well, not all of them. Uh, quite a few of them. Schwarzengard? Oh, yeah, they were in the original. Yeah, I thought they were only in... Uh, in fact, there is one of these is a boss in Jazz 2. Um, whereas these are just common enemies in Jazz 1. He, he, he got a bit less badass. Oh, and it tells you what all the episodes are as well. Or at the very least, all the original ones. Uh, they forgot to put. They forgot to get a screenshot of this one, so they just put a question mark. I wonder if there's any beta shots in here then. That'd be interesting. Just have a quick look. No, these are all uh, full game shots. That's fine. Uh, yeah. I wonder if it has got those secret episodes in. Not the secret, the... Uh... Yeah, look, CD episodes. We've got Outer Dis World. We've got Turtle Soup. Huh? That starts on the... Yeah. This is pretty bad, because the final episode of each one is, like, orphaned on here. Also, I'm pretty sure Dexter spelt wrong. Uh, and the CD bonus level, which is pretty much just the bonus stage that you can get to through normal gameplay anyway. Bit pointless. Who are these dudes? Oh, we've got the little caricatures of the um, developers. Yeah, that does. Uh... <laughs> That's pretty cool. Quite like that. Um, and this is kind of yellow as well. I wonder why that is. Is that supposed to be like that? I wonder. Well, there we go. It's an English handbook. And that, my friends, is Jazz Jackrabbit CD ROM. I've no idea if it's complete though, I don't see why it wouldn't be. Uh, that one lives in there, doesn't it? And there we have it.